guys, there is a new development coming in from the camp of Sean Diddy Combs, who is uh, actually in battle right now, as we do speak, and can't see the whole, you know, Cassie issue. Now he's been dragged inside the uh, the plot, alleged plot of late rapper Tupac Shakur. Now, looks like his own entourage are also disassociating themselves from uh, him, and none other than Young Miami, as we have uh, heard in various reports, is allegedly stripping Didi from, uh, you know, her reality TV show, and this report that I've chanced on is getting very interesting. So quickly, let me let you know exactly what this article about Young Miami and Didi is all about. But before we do that, this is the Literature Insult in Action. Just please do want to subscribe. It's very necessary, important, okay? Join today episode let's get interactive so quickly let me just get you exactly what this is about so it says young miami you know on and off again boyfriend diddy has reportedly been removed from the upcoming reality show as the shade room previously reported the city girls rapper initially reviewed the upcoming project in september 2023 however in november of the last year i mean of of, of that last year diddy was hit with a sexual assault lawsuit by one of his ex-girlfriend cassie since then the 54 year old music mogul has largely remained out of spotlight while battling additional suit per the shade room young miami will reportedly have to film new scenes to replace several episodes that Didi was initially included in before his recent lawsuit. As the Shade Room previously reported, now, so I'm quoting this because this was a report filed by the Shade Room, okay? So that's why I'm mentioning this article, uh, you know, source. It says, as the Shade Room I know, previously reported, Miami initially spilled the beans, uh, you know, on the show on September 2023 during a Billboard interview. At the time, the 29-year-old explained that a series would be about her everyday life. Additionally, the rapper explained that she was so grateful for the opportunities she received between the series, her music career, uh, Carisha Please, and of course, the, pro, uh, the podcast. During an interview with the Break, uh, Fast Club in October of that year, the rapper explained that her City Girls paint uh, partner, that's JT, may not appear in the series. As the Shade Room previously reported, Cassie filed the lawsuit, and of course, we all know the law, uh, the Cassie lawsuit that happened in the past. And guys, this is the latest development coming in from uh, the whole Didi and Young Miami issue. So, oops, bad news, bad news, bad news, um, hitting the camp of Didi and his own entourage, including, uh, you know, his partner, Young Miami, says that, bro. I mean, I'm sorry. You have to deal with this your own self. I don't want to be part of this drama. Deal with it your own self. I feel very sad for, you know, Didi, but I feel he deserves everything that is coming his way. Uh, this is a lesson in life that everyone should apparently learn from. One day you are on the top, the next day you'll actually be down. Someone will put you on your place. You get it. So, in as much as it's very sad, now, why, why, why is Young Miami even doing this in the latter, you know, you know, times? She has been with, you know, Didi for some time now. Recently, we did see uh, her with, you know, Didi having some very fun time and, you know, getting very cozy together. All of a sudden, Didi and Young Miami are getting issues already. <laughs> Girl is just trying to be smart. I think she's just trying to be smart over here. Well, good for her anyways, but believe it or not, she took a good thing. Uh, you know, very sad anyways for Didi, poor Didi. Um, that's all I can say, poor, poor Didi, but he deserves everything that's coming his way. Moving on, let's go straight to some reactions uh, people have been talking about. And this one is coming from Georgino uh, Matthias. Uh, she says that smart, because uh, all negative towards um, him would also affect her negativity. But she has been with Didi for all the time now. So what, what, what sort of negativity is she talking about? I mean... Someone who's associated with Didi has been associated with Didi for close to, you know, whatever years now. And you're coming to tell me that she apparently does not want any negativity in her life. Oh, <laughs> give me some different comments to read, please. Let's move to a different comment. Now, this one says that I guarantee you uh, he came up with the plan to make it seem like she's detaching herself from him. Uh, you know, and he's going to use uh, her for something we don't know what you yet Okay, but we know how he is. 
okay, I think if I get you correctly, you see that everything was calculated, everything was planned. That's what you mean, right? Um, Courtney James Johnson comes to say uh, that he's bad for business. This is the smartest choice as she's made about him. Hmm. But who, 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 who is saying that young Miami is not going to be affected about it? Why, why are you all saying that Didi is, 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 is a bad effect to young Miami? She knew about it and has remained in the relationship for God knows how long. And this is not the time for us to cast aspersions or portion blames uh, you know, on just one person. Young Miami equally has to be blamed because when the Cassie issue came up, she never spoke about it. She is a lady but kept quiet about it. And now she wants to bring a reality show and, you know, she says that she doesn't want to have Didi in the show because that's going to have an impinging role or effect on her uh, reality show. This is, this is crazy. Okay, moving on to some interesting one. Um, Sabia comes to say, Didi is finished in hip-hop. Take what you got, let and go. What you gave around came back around, like I said. You can never predict what will happen the next day. One day you are on the top, the next day you are actually struggling, you know, in life. It's such a shame. Anytime I think about Didi, I'm like, this dude was making it. In fact, he was the most sought after rappers in Hollywood until this thing came. It's very sad. It is very, very sad. And I hope all the rappers in Hollywood are learning from this. I pray that all the rappers in Hollywood be learning from all of this because if this is not giving you or setting, uh, you know, some kind of um, image for you to see that not everyone around you wish, you know, good for you, you will also fall prey to this. And maybe yours would even be worse than, you know, Didi's. Let me do some more comments before we can wrap up. Uh, Taj Maki comes to see, uh, this is so embarrassing. One week ago, she's been paraded around with her, uh, <laughs> head in, in the clouds, uh, like she's better than the last, and he won't do to me what he's done to the, uh, her attitude, uh, you know, and boom, used and played and kicked to the curb. LOL, humiliation in real thing. You see exactly what I was talking about. Recently, she was with Didi and joined live here and there. Now she says she doesn't want to associate with Didi again. You see how human beings are. Just be careful. You can never predict what will happen in the future. Just be careful. <laughs> so right now, Didi is left alone. Nobody wants to associate with Didi. And that's, that's very shameful. And they're harassing us as well. Well... Let us know what you think about it inside the comment section. This is where time would allow. This has been the Lutrin's Open Axe News. Thanks for watching.